Good morning guys. In today's video, I am going to speak about the Bitcoin price. What can we expect now the next couple of weeks? What did we see at the last halving? Are we seeing the same at this moment? I am going to talk about you because I want to know how many Bitcoins you own because then I can compare it to the stats that are around now. And the stats have been showing us some very interesting numbers. Check it out in this video. I'm also going to talk to you guys about some altcoins because you requested me and what I expect of these altcoins talking about gaming and how much money from these tokenized assets in these virtual worlds is flowing back into the normal system fiat system and how this blockchain game now is going to add this possibility as well and then i'm going to end this video with a question which industry do you think that i'm going to create mass adoption all over the normal but also virtual world hope you enjoyed this video tonight there will be a second video about the education of children the mindset and the new wor world and jobs that are being created um, so make sure you watch that one as well but now first start with this one again from a beautiful office here on the beach Copangan, thailand <laughs> Yes, it's raining, but to be very honest, it feels amazing because it's becoming bloody hot. Let's jump into my office. Yes, because it's raining, I'm trying to do a short video, but mostly I don't succeed because I just talk too much. It is rainy, the beach is wet, um, but it feels pretty, pretty cooling in this bloody hot temperature here in Thailand. I will even post a second video tonight because I also made a video this week about um, why we think we need to prepare our kids for the future, why we do it different, why we don't traditional school them but homeschool them and why we think this future of work could look much more different than we expect. So this video probably also tonight. But now guys, first the Bitcoin price. But now guys, the Bitcoin price, because you all wait for this moment that we talk about the price, because it is Sunday and you don't have anything other on your mind than the Bitcoin price. The Bitcoin price, guys, we are still in this range, in this huge range between 8,500 and 10,000. Um, you know, the resistance is between 9,800 and 10,100. This is the big resistance we still need to break. Yes, I know, boring, it is the same, but because it is getting boring, this also shows us we are moving in this range. And this is exactly what happened during and after the halving in 2016 as well. Because we could see pre-halving a run-up, then we could see a pre-run crash, and then we see movement into this range for 38 days. So this halving we saw the same, we had a run-up. We had a pre-halving crash and now we are in this range of 38 days which then would end somewhere in the end of the first week of june and then guys what happened then was another small drop it's starting to rain a little bit harder but who cares and then another small drop uh, occurred after these 38 days before we slowly went up in this beautiful bull run i'm going to find a little bit dryness here under these beautiful palm trees maybe this will protect me a little bit from the rain because i can see a dry spot on the beach so after these uh, 38 days and the last halving we fell down an, uh, another drop but we found support on the 200 day moving average so this is one of the uh, scenarios that could play out now for bitcoin as well so we could have this second drop um, after 38 days and then find support at a 200 day moving average and um, just look at the chart and just keep an eye on this 200 day moving average because we are at the moment still trading above the 200 and the 100 day moving average so these are huge support lines even the total market cap is uh, moving also above this 200 day moving average and is also finding support on this 200 day moving average so this 200 day moving average wow that was a lot of 200 day moving averages in one sentence this is an important level to look at not only for the bitcoin price but also for the total market cap 
because history has shown that this was a huge level of support. Always look to the left on the charts. We can see in history what happened and then we take it back to the future. We just compare it so that we can make a judgment about what could happen at this point in the charts. The total market cap level we need to keep an eye on is about 220 to 225 billion dollar. We should not break down under because then we can see some more bear time and we can go a little bit more down. So this 220, 25 billion dollar level of the total market cap um, needs to be held. So we need to find support on this level and don't break that level um, to see a very bright future in Bitcoin. Um, if it comes to price because if it comes to the true fundamentals the future of bitcoin is already bright and will even get more brighter because you know it's already changing the world and it will keep changing the world the longer it exists and the more institutional investors governments and other centralized organizations understand the true power of these fundamentals and the usage of these fundamentals will grow tremendously in the next 10 years but we will see what will happen um, I'm just a very positive guy that sees the beauty in this technology and that will make it possible for the money to evolve to the next step in money. You know, we always started with stones and beans and we went to silver coins and golden coins and we went to paper money, we went to plastic credit cards, we went to PayPal and all the other digital ways of paying and now we are just evolving to the next step of money and the next step will be cryptocurrency no doubt about this so when it comes to the true fundamentals I just truly believe that this technology will succeed and take the world of finance to a new level and create maybe the money to Point zero. But then again guys I'm just this guy living a beautiful life because he made some profit with trading. Um, so always do your own research. You might see this expression many times in crypto D-Y-O-R do your own research means you can listen to me you can listen to other traders you can listen to other YouTubers but always do your own research and educate yourself in the fundamentals of trading so that you can predict these markets so that you so and educate yourself in the fundamentals of trading so you can read the charts yourself and you know make an own assessment on what is going to happen with the price if, if it comes to educating and trading please check the link below this video because there is a link to a crypto course that really will help you with understanding these fundamentals of trading but also the fundamentals of the psychology that is always playing a huge part in this market just check the link below the video or even i will add it to the comments so you can click directly in the comments to the link if you want to sign up for this beautiful course so to sum it up guys we are moving in this range 8500 8, to 10k don't freak out always zoom out even if we fall down to 8500 there's nothing strange we are still in this movement in this range and um, we will need to see if after these 38 days we could break out this range and move slowly upwards into this beautiful bull run we all deserve it stopped raining so i can continue my walk on the beach i don't like to stand still let me ask you a question i want a honest answer i will even add a poll this poll is anonymous so you can answer this one without me or anybody else knowing what your answer was the poll is this eye up here or is it up there I still don't know left or right there is an eye and you can click it to fill the poll because I want to know how many bitcoins do you have <laughs> I don't want to know the exact number but I want to know in which range you are because what do the stats show us the stats show us the following numbers which are amazing to see 97.3% of the bitcoin holders huddle less than one bitcoin 97.3% own less than one Bitcoin. If you have a little bit more Bitcoin, let's say between one and 10 Bitcoin, you belong to the amazing 2.17% of the beautiful Bitcoin holders. And if you own more than 10 Bitcoins, you are a proud person that belongs to the 0.5% of the total addresses that own Bitcoin. And if you're really, really lucky, then guys, you're owning more than 100 Bitcoins. So to calculate in US dollars, guys, if you huddle more than 90,000 US dollars in Bitcoin, you are a large Bitcoin member. 
cool, huh? We just broke the resistance of 30 million Bitcoin addresses in the world. I think exactly 30 million 400,000 Bitcoin wallet addresses all over the world. Yes, of course, many of us spread their Bitcoins into more multiple wallets, but that still doesn't make a difference to if you own 90,000 US dollar in Bitcoins, um, you're still a large Bitcoin holder. So that's really a cool fact. So let me know to which group you belong. Please answer in the poll because I'm very excited to see the results and I will talk about these results in the next video because it's just cool to see how my followers are invested into Bitcoin. Let's celebrate that we had 30 million Bitcoin wallet addresses. How am I going to celebrate this guys? I think I will create a beautiful t-shirt with the number 30 million BTC on it or something like this. And I will give this away to one of you guys that repost this video, tagging me and tagging two friends into your social media post. And please make a screenshot of this post and send me this post so you will uh, make chance on this beautiful t-shirt. Talking about t-shirts guys, I am adding new t-shirts onto our shop daily. I will try to keep the price as low as possible because I don't want them to be too expensive and 25% of all the profit we make from these seizures will be donated to charity. You really need to check these shirts on our shop. Um, the link is also below the video in the description but I will also add it to the comment because these shirts are getting cooler and cooler. I have a designer now creating these shirts for me and I'm very proud because one shirt now is, called, is this huge orange bee and uh, the text on the shirt is born to and then you have the B and then down you have free born to be free I think this is a beautiful shirt to not only support crypto and Bitcoin in the whole but I think it's also a beautiful shirt to express your feelings in this lockdown during these COVID periods because we are born to be free we are not born to be locked down we are born to be free so if you support this sure do order this shirt and you support your own freedom you support cryptocurrency and yes you support a charity because 25% of the profit will go to a charity you can pay the shirts in many kinds of way and of course yes you can pay these shirts also with cryptocurrencies check out which cryptocurrencies we accept on the site but you will be amazed by how many different currencies you can pay these shirts with. more and more people keep me asking Didi can you please also talk about uh, altcoins because I want to know what your thoughts are about this yes I will try to do this as well because I'm not a uh, Bitcoin price maximalist. I'm a cryptocurrency. Um, do what you like in your life, maximalist. Um, so if I look at the market at the moment, then Ethereum is a currency I would really keep an eye on because if you take the trading pair Ethereum to BTC, you can see that Ethereum just broke a line of resistance. And mostly when Ethereum breaks this line of resistance, it jumps up with 15 till 20%. So yes, if you ask me today, now, here in the morning, please take a look at Ethereum because we could see a small run from 20% and that will bring Ethereum a little bit closer to where it should be um, if you look at the run that Bitcoin did. At the same time, guys, please look at Litecoin as well because Litecoin dropped from $80 to now $43, $44. Um, this coin can also very easy go up to uh, $60 again or something in that range. And Litecoin and Ethereum are both currencies that have been around us for a long time. So the risk of these currencies to go to zero is like very, very minimal. Because even if they dip a little bit further, if Bitcoin will make a bull run, these two currencies will very fast follow Bitcoin. And yes, there are altcoins you can make way more money in it because you know they will grow with 600 percent or thousand percent but these altcoins is just a little bit a bigger of a gamble or a bet because trading with currencies that have been among us for a bit, little bit longer time is just a little bit more safe play yes you heard this out my mouth safe play <laughs> this guy going all in in Bitcoin is now talking about safe play also a question from the audience you told me you were going to be part of a new product project and when can you talk more about this I am at the moment creating a beautiful video about this co-op with this beautiful Swiss company I'm going to be an ambassador for their project and maybe even a shareholder because I really really like what they created and this software they created will be a 
revolution in the market of trading cryptocurrencies. So by now, this is about the third or fourth hint I've been giving you in a few videos. It's a Swiss company. It has to do with trading and it's a kind of a revolution when it comes to trading. Okay guys, be a little bit more patient because I'm creating the video and with this video, I will show you what this company is doing and what I will do for this company in the future. A little bit more news about gaming. Yes, I've been talking about gaming a lot and I will tell you later why. Keep hanging in here guys, please, please keep staying in the video. If you're bored, just start clicking. And if you want to click something, then just click the thumbs up and just click the subscription button or even the bell button so you'll be notified in every video. But don't go, stay, 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 because I need you to stay. I need to um, see my retention of the views in YouTube go up a little bit more because I want to see that you guys hang in to the end of these videos because then I know for sure I need to keep making these beautiful videos uh, in these beautiful areas instead of very short 10 minute videos behind a desk in my house. The plant is this beautiful blockchain virtual world where you can buy assets and where you can rock around as an avatar and they are now adapting um, second life technology where you can where you can sell your virtual assets for real cash huh is this even possible so you build a virtual thing in a virtual world and you exchange this virtual thing for the tokens used in this world but now you're also possible to take these tokens out of this virtual world and act exchange them to real life cash just like you're like it's possible in second life yes and don't underestimate this market it might, may sound very crazy to you but guys in 2019 65 million us dollar of tokens in second life were exchanged to physical cash and now Upland is going to use this beautiful technology. This world is really changing in a rapid way and we need to prepare the kids for this because the kids have the future and our kids need to be prepared for this new future of virtual lives, of virtual games, of avatars, of a virtual mindset. And that is why we unschool our kids and prepare them in a different way but if you want to see how we do this just look at tonight's video because i'm going to post another video tonight that one will be all about the mindset how the world is changing how the jobs are changing how to become a digital nomad and why we think that all families in the world start, should start to prepare their kids for this different kind of future and not only families even schools that will watch this video tonight maybe will understand shit we need to throw away these 50 year old books and need to start to use the current technologies and books to prepare our kids for a future that might be completely different as we think it could be then there's one more question i want to ask you guys because if we're talking about this virtual world and this being combined with blockchain everybody is still waiting for this killer dab this killer dab that everybody will use i want to know what you think which of these industries will create mass adoption for crypto number one will it be sports or number two will it be the gaming world number three will it be movies and entertainment number four will it be gambling casinos or number five, will it be the adult industry because they are known to change the monetary spendings online because they were the one that um, made credit cards being used online big time. Which of these industry do you think that will change this adoption of cryptocurrency in a huge way? That was all for today, guys. I really want to thank you for watching this video again. Please give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And please hit this bell button so you will be notified on every new video. Also, if you're very happy today on this beautiful Sunday and you're thankful that I even made this video in the rain, then please share this video with your community so we get some more followers because we are almost at 4K followers and we want to break this 4K resistance. Thank you for watching. I wish you a very beautiful Sunday. Live life the fullest. Zoom out in crypto. Zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day and life will be a beautiful thing to live.
See you tomorrow again.